This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. Your stem cells, your health, your life. Here we are again. Aren't you so happy? <laughs> <laughs> I know we are. We're happy to be here. Happy to have you with us, too. Oh, my. <laughs> Hey, I know what the next story is, but before you kind of talk about it a little bit, because it has to do with a fox hunt. But are you familiar with the fallow field hunt? Uh-uh. You're not? Oh, okay. Well, actually, uh, an artist uh, named Cecil Alden, uh, back in uh, just uh, was 1904, uh, painted uh, six different uh, uh, pictures of a fox hunt, okay, starting with you know, the, the breakfast and then gathering oh, and sure. then uh -huh. finally the, 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 the capture of the fox and then the, uh, the dinner afterwards. And anyway, I happen to have those prints. <laughs> I'm so jealous. But, well, the thing is, when Linda and I were antiquing, uh, we learned about the fallow field hunt. And at that time, you could find a lot of fallow field hunt things around. I mean, like tea sets. And they were all hand-painted with scenes from the fallow field hunt. Oh. Yeah, and I don't know if you can still find them or not, but it's really kind of an interesting thing. Well, the why. hunt, and you'll hear a little bit about that in the story, is like a culture all of its own. And of course, having grown up in Virginia, of course, where fox hunting was a big deal, whether it was the people in the you know nice riding um, suits or the hillbillies just following the hounds you know my grandpa I can remember his sitting out on the front porch and listening to the hounds run at night is one of his favorite things after he quit hunting himself but you know uh, fox hunting or raccoon hunting they um it's it's a tradition that goes back to the british isles and that's what um the, the story will talk about a little bit and of course i think that the hunt in uh, at leavenworth is one of the oldest and um and certainly thriving. So it's a it's a really I think it's a pretty cool story. Is is that where you go out and sit in the woods with a gunny sack and a no. club? Oh no, that's no. night. Yeah, no. Sorry. No, no. Whole different story. Whole different set. The Fort Leavenworth hunt was organized in nineteen twenty six by the tenth cavalry regiment and disbanded during World War II. The pack of hounds was reconstituted in nineteen sixty four and two years later was recognized by the Masters of Foxhounds Association. Military personnel and their families, as well as civilians, are subscribers to the hunt. The kennels are located on Fort Leavenworth. The hunt enjoys the unique distinction of hunting on the post, covering land that marks the beginning of the Santa Fe Trail. This sport carries on the tradition of a sport which has not changed much since it first came to us from England in 1650. The hunt country is on Fort Leavenworth and nearby in the vicinity of Easton. Twice a year, the hunt moves to the wide open expanses of the Flint Hills at the Mulvane Ranch. This is truly a unique hunting experience, hunting over 15,000 acres of native prairie grass. During hunt season, hunters go out regularly, weather permitting. Because of weather, it is wise to check before each hunt to make sure of time and place. During the off-season, they exercise and train the hounds, work on trails, and conduct fundraising endeavors. The object of the Fort Leavenworth hunt is to pursue a fox or coyote with the hounds through hunt country, offering the subscribers of the hunt an opportunity to view this chase. The actual hunting is the work of the huntsman and staff. The subscribers and guests are observers. There are 25 to 35 hounds used in each hunt. The thrill is in the chase. Watching the hounds work and hearing them give tongue, doing their job guided by the huntsman and assisted by the whippers in, the field master leads the field of riders into a position to view the fox or coyote being pursued. The hunt's intentions are only to chase. The hunt is designed to provide a safe and friendly atmosphere for any rider wishing to participate, offering both the novice and the accomplished rider a safe and exciting experience. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Valley Vet. 